Next ones that we're going to look at is Funabari. Funabari. Okay. So this was starts in Gera no Kamae. So we're here in Gera no Kamae. We're going to go strike to do. Pull this back. Strike the tip toe. Slide this back. Ashibarai. Okay. Slide this back. Tip toe again. From here, I like to drop back to Gera no Kamae. Okay. Want some more? Gera no Kamae. Go, Tinto, Ashibarai, Tinto, back. Okay. So with this waza, um, I made a point on showing how when you're using the Boken, how you would defend against these strikes. Okay, let me set this down real quick. These are key points here. Okay. So Luke starts in Sega no Kamai. Okay. So Uke is in Sagan. The first attack the Tori is doing is they're coming to attack Do. Do is a wide area. That is the side of your that's your body. So you need to cover that. Okay? So as I'm here, I'm going to, as if I'm on this line right here, I'm actually going to shuffle out off this line slightly. And I'm going to use my Boken or Daito or Katana as a shield. I'm going to turn my blade backwards. I'm gonna guard with my arm like this. The blade needs to be 90 degrees, okay? My hand is not this way because if they hit, they'll hit my elbow, I don't wanna have my arm up here. I wanna have it down here as much as possible. So I'm using this whole thing as a shield, whole side of the weapon, okay? So this first cut comes in, I'm coming here, okay? So that strike to dough is covered this whole area. The next cut is tintol, they're coming for the head. When they come for that, I just step out with my left foot. Left, I guard up high. Notice if I'm doing this, my fingers are not exposed this way. My hands turn sideways. Okay? Now they come for Ashibarai. So that Ashibarai would be coming for my right leg. When that happens, I bring, I come to Hicho. Hicho, and I slap with my blade, the side of my blade. From there, I'm able to put my foot down. Okay? From there, my head is exposed again. Now, when they come from my head, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step across. Yoko and Ruki and do it Ukaragash, okay? And their weapon slides off, okay? And there. So if this is done correctly, Uke or the Tori can actually get full blows in with the Rock Shakubo, and the Uke is not getting cut or anything like that, okay? Once more. Seigano Komai, guard to do, Tentol. Ashibarai, down, from here, they decide to come in again, or tinto at the top, cross it, no Okay? And out. What I had them do at the end, in terms of a counter to this, it would look like this. So, Sega no Kamai, okay? You're moving out, guarding here, protecting the body, attacking, protecting tinto here. Ashibarai, down, okay? From here, they come for the head again. Come here, cross it, Yoko Ruki. You're doing it, Ukeragash. As it comes out, you come down, knocking their weapon down out of their hands and coming right back here, okay? Use the distance of your weapon, okay? If you cross it, Yoko Ruki, out of here and you knock their weapon down, you can also go here and lay their weapon on their neck and run into them. Boom! You displace them. The blade is already on their neck. This is cutting as you're closing the distance. And as they leave again, they get cut again from that same spot. So the cut gets cut deep because you're laying the blade there. You move forward, push them, causing them to displace, and they get cut. Okay? Once more. This is how I teach my students to defend against this, this waza. Okay? In terms of being just on the receiving. Again, Sega no Kamai, guarding out here, coming here, boom, down, here, and now, shoom, stepping up, and there. Okay? That's how I teach my students to defend against that. Move on.